So welcome to this session. Today we're going to be looking at the element of air. And air is such a beautiful quality that is light and open and free and expansive and graceful and can bring this into our practice, into our bodies. So let's begin with the breath. And we're going to bring a lot of ease into just breathing naturally. Yeah, coming into a comfortable position, sitting, whichever way that is for you, and just breathing. Coming into simplicity, releasing any tension in the jaw, especially uh, the forehead, the brain, the scalp, the shoulders, the neck, the arms, allowing everything to become soft. And breathing with softness. Breathing with ease. And breathing a little deeper, if that feels okay for you. And seeing how this space in the lungs, in the chest area, in the heart, is nourished by the breath. And the breath comes into the lungs, into the chest, expands. As the breath goes out, the ribs come in, the diaphragm comes up. So there's this natural flow of expansion and contraction happening. I'm just watching that to begin with. We're going to breathe a little bit deeper. But not strong or forced, just like we're allowing. Yeah, we're allowing that breath to become deep. It's moving on its own, yeah? So there's no effort, it's effortless. And keep breathing into this heart area. As the heart relates to the er uh, element in the chakra system. So we're gonna be working with the qualities of openness and love and compassion. Gratitude. I'd love to share a poem with you, which says, Breathe deeply until sweet air extinguishes the burn of fear in your lungs. And then every breath is a beautiful refusal to become anything less than infinite. It's by a wonderful poetess called D. Antoinette Foy. Breathe deeply until sweet air extinguishes the burn of fear in your lungs. And then every breath is a beautiful refusal to become anything less than infinite. So as we're breathing deep, just let the hands float off the knees very slowly and effortlessly onto the heart, breathing into the heart. And just thinking about what you have right now in your life that you're grateful for. And breathing that into the heart every time you think of something you're grateful for that you have right now in your life. Breathe it in and try to feel what happens. See if you can feel gratitude. What does it feel like? What is the quality of gratitude? Good, last breath here. Seeing if you can really feel grateful. 
And don't worry if nothing comes. We're just looking in to see what happens with these techniques in yoga. Let the hands fall down to the knees very softly. And on the next breath, let's open up and open the eyes. And we're going to start to move from side to side, whichever side you want to, you feel attuned to, go to first. Inhale, rise. And exhale to the other side. So we're going to coordinate our breath and the movement. Inhale, rise. Exhale to the other side. And we're going to feel the side body stretching. Inhale, rise. And exhale to the other. Inhale, rise. Exhale. And we're thinking about bringing ease effortless, like a light breeze, air element flowing. Last one. And inhale back to center. Let's bring the heart forward. And we'll start to go around in a circle, looking into the heart, but also the lungs and chest. So as we come forward, reaching that. As we come back, we're going to round. And then come forward, reaching forward. And exhale back, round the back, drop the head, inhale. Start to, again, coordinate the movement with your breath. And we're going to look at freedom in this air element. So we're just gonna relax the body, relax the head, and find the freedom in this movement. Start to let go of holding on to a particular structure and instead just feel the body. It's like it's moving on its own. And let's go in the other direction. See if you can feel the lightness, the ease. When we start to understand how to bring this lightness and ease into our body, then we can do that in everyday life. Not just practicing yoga, but when we're walking, talking, eating, working. Feel the jaw relax, the forehead relax. Last rotation. And then coming to sitting, lifting up through the spine, expanding through the lungs beautifully and openly. And welcoming the air, welcoming the breath. Inhale and rise up, reach, and exhale down. And again, inhale. Let the arms just float like they're floating on their own rise and exhale down and this time let's lift them all the way up inhale rise and interlink the fingers and let's just turn the hands like this and open the chest open the heart area move the shoulders opening the shoulders as well but stretching the hands back as far as you can and release all the way down to the floor and onto the hands and knees back into downward facing dog. And we're going to walk in downward facing dog. And breathe very beautifully. We're not breathing strong. You can use Ujjayi breath where you can hear the sound of the breath if you want to. Yeah, that's optional, but we're going to try to find the freedom so we're not just holding a posture very still and stiff, but we're relaxing, moving the shoulders, moving the head, and just finding that gentle sway. Good, and then slowly walking the hands back, 
nice and slow. If you need to, you can bend the knees. And if not, then keep the legs straight. Inhale, rise up like this with the, the arms folded. And exhale, just very gently come down. Again, the knees can be bent to modify if the hamstrings feel tight. And then just gently swaying from side to side. Keep the breath flowing. Feel the blood coming into the head. Relax the hands down to the floor. And turn the feet out. And come into what's called malasana. We're going to lift the head up. If this is too much, you can keep your hands down on the floor. But lifting the head up helps us to feel that blood coming back down into the body. Good. And we're going to go into a little sequence with the breath. So exhale down and inhale, look under the legs. Exhale, roll up to standing, vertebrae by vertebrae. Inhale, arms floating up. Exhale, turn the feet out and come down again into Malasana. Inhale, look under the legs. And exhale, rolling up. So the air element expands. It creates the expansion in the body. Exhale, floating down. Inhale, looking under, dropping the head. Exhale, rolling up. Inhale, expanding wide, especially around the heart and the chest. Exhale, flowing down. Inhale, exhale, inhale. And now bring an effortless movement in, exhale, inhale, exhale. Now in your own time, go as slow as you can without any effort. I feel like the body is moving on its own. You are floating. And last one, very, very slow, like there's no effort at all. And when you come back to standing, just ground the feet, turn the palms forward. And feel, if you can, the lightness, the expansion in the chest, in the body, the air element that has brought all of that breath. Look into the body, into that gentle shimmering within. Feel a sense, if you can, of openness in the heart and the chest area. Good. And let's bring the feet together. And we'll come on to the left foot. Grounding down, come into a balance posture. So a very simple one to begin with, modification of tree if you're feeling wobbly today. Otherwise, you can bring the leg up under the knee or you can lift it right up into the side of the leg. 
And at any point, you can change. <laughs> and so bringing the hands to the heart to begin with and just focusing softly on a point in front of you. Listening to that soft breath moving through. And then we're going to rise up and expand out. Like these are the branches of the tree and the heart is expanding. It's opening. The energy pathways or meridians or nadis of the heart run down through the inner arm to the heart. So right across through the heart and right across. So if we expand our hands and arms out, feel that openness and a beauty and the qualities of the heart, joy and softly down. Good, let's change. If it's too hard to balance, then of course you just stay with both feet on the ground like that. Find the correct position on the other side. And we become softer, the breath is softer, we're but more still. Rise up. Maybe it's a windy day and the tree is blowing. <laughs> But there's this freedom, we want to come into that beauty of the air element, which is freedom. It's free, it moves everywhere. It's okay to move. It's okay to wobble. It's okay to fall down. It's okay to not be perfect. We embrace everything. The air element is open. It embraces it all, all of life. Good, and softly down. And release, and again. Take a deep breath in this time and exhale. Letting go, and again. Feel that breath. Good, let's bring the hands to the heart. And we'll dive down like this in like a devotional thank you movement to the earth, bowing the head down. Inhale, rise up onto the fingertips. And exhale, let's stretch out here and softly come to the earth. So I'm gonna drop my knees and I'm gonna let my belly, my heart and my chin land at the same time if I can. And then take the arms out, expanding, breathing, breathing into the earth, feeling the abdominal area being massaged by the breath. If I'm feeling strong enough, I will lift the legs. So that's a, an option. Feeling the strength in the back. And the air, the breath as it moves through. And just being a little playful, a little movement into this locust salabhasana position. Keep breathing. And then expand, rise as high as you can, and exhale down. few breaths into the ground and then inhale rise and exhale back into downward facing dog and feel all of those back muscles that have been activated in locust lengthening stretching as you elongate the spine in downward facing dog we're going to bring the feet together and just very softly, with no effort, as least, less effort as possible, and then come into pigeon. But we're going to sit on the heel. 
So we are sitting on the right heel. The right buttock is on the right heel. If this is too much for your knee, you can place a little cushion here. Make sure that the knee is comfortable and we're just gonna rock from side to side. I'm gonna see how that feels in the hips, making sure that posture feels okay. And then we are going to bring the leg out. So I'll turn this way so you can see. I'm gonna gently bring this leg out. And you find what's comfortable for you. So I know some people can come all the way out, but we wanna really focus on ease. So not hurting the body. Then you can use the cushion to go under the right buttock because there might be a space now that has been created through moving the heel away. And we're gonna make sure that we're comfortable in pigeon and the toes are pointing directly back behind us. We are feeling the left knee on the ground and we're coming up onto the fingertips to open the heart. So this posture, pigeon, is called pigeon because of this pressing forward of the chest. So we're gonna expand through the heart, rise up onto the fingertips, lift the chin, and breathe into the heart. It's like you're breathing all of the energy from the cosmos, the galaxies, the stars, the planets, which is pouring down through the space, through the air, this energy. And we're gonna breathe it into the center of the chest, into our heart. If you wanna try an advanced version, then you can take the hands off, like you're really flying through the air. Relax the face, the arms, the shoulders, and then just bow down, one bow, all the way down. And rise up, see if you can come back to Downward Facing Dog. Nice and slowly. If you need to go onto your knees first, that's fine. We're going to do the same on the other side. So gently together, inhale, slowly rise. And exhale, sitting on the left heel. So it's nice to come into a modification first, allowing the body to open gently, not rushing or forcing into the full postures. Just gently swaying. And then moving that leg out, using some props if you need to. Cushion under the left buttock. And coming up onto the fingertips. Breathing here. Let's see if we can come back, even though we're in a deep position with the body, let's see if we can feel that sense of gratitude that we did at the beginning of the practice. Can you feel it in this shape? <laughs> yeah, sometimes that's the challenge is we're in a difficult shape with the body, but can we still feel our hearts? The openness, love, gratitude. Bringing the hands off if you want to make it a little bit deeper. And one big bow down to the earth with gratitude. Inhale, rise back to downward facing dog and just walk the hips out. Yeah, so gently walking, feeling the hips, 
Feel in the back, the legs, everything that you can. Good, and let's just move forward. And we're going to come into plank position. So moving the hands a little bit as much as you need. We'll go into plank position. And then we'll do a big prostration down to the ground. Let's just rest with our head turned to one side. And just soften into the earth. See how much you can let go. And just pay attention to the hips that have been opened and other parts of the body where the postures have gone into scanning the body. Feel your heart on the earth. And slowly we're going to roll onto our back. And before Shavasana, we can come into a little twist, just bringing the right leg up first the right arm out, and I'm looking to the right. So it's nice to come into the posture and then to soften and to let go so there is ease. And we fall into this place that is deeply relaxed and surrendered. The face, the right hip, the belly, the arms. Our practice becomes effortless. And to the other side. And looking to the left. We let go of any goal for the knee to reach the floor. If the knee reaches the floor, then that's fine. If it doesn't, You can also support with your cushion or your bolster or your pillows. And just feel where I feel this happening now is all down here. You might feel it in a different part of the body and I'm just breathing very gently into that place with love, with softness. Meeting it with openness, any parts of us that are tight or tense. It's beautiful if we can meet them with love, care, and our attention. Good, come back and just bring the legs up, rock from side to side. And as we go down into Shavasana, you may want to use a bolster under the knees. Really nice to support the back. I love using a bolster and I also love using a pillow under my head. Make an extra comfortable Shavasana. (laughs) And I'm going to expand out wider than usual in this Shavasana because we've been working with the element of air. But if that's not comfortable for you, if it feels too exposed, you can, of course, put your hands closer, your legs closer, or your hands even on your heart is lovely. And just taking a few breaths here and softening 
deepening into the ground, softening the body. I'd love to read a verse from the Radiant Sutras to help you soften a little bit more. So just stay in Shavasana and keep dissolving, melting into the ground. And this beautiful verse says, sitting on a soft seat or lying on your mat, experience the space below as offering no support. You are simply suspended, floating in space. Structures of the mind release. The reservoir of habits dissolve. And in an instant, lifetimes of patterns vanish. So keep dissolving and stay as long as is needed in your shavasana. Enjoy the rest of your practice and thank you.